Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday video, and that is where you guys send in your Whip Caddy. That's the three-tiered carts, and you post them in Facebook group page, and some of you even emailed them to me. And it is just so much fun seeing what everyone has going on their carts. Um, I just feel like it's a way for me to reach out and um, to you guys and be able to showcase you out in YouTube land and let everyone know what you guys are working on instead of it just always being about me and what I'm working on. So I just, I really, really enjoy this part of it, um, showcasing the things that you guys are working on. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at all these wonderful whip caddies that have been sent in this week. Okay, so Rebecca sent in her cart um, again, and Rebecca, I'm so glad that you did because, yes, the bunnies are multiplying, and they are gorgeous. This makes me smile. This makes me happy, and I was so excited to be able to include this in this week's video, um, and I think everyone will agree that this is a fun whip cart. Um, let's see, she, her baby blanket is growing and it is almost done and the yarn is still stored on the bottom. But oh my goodness, the peeps. Uh, be sure on the Facebook group page, put the link to the peeps for everyone. I'm sure that everyone's going to want to know where you got those. Now here we have Shannon's cart and the first thing I noticed is the doll on top. And thank you Shannon so much for... Uh, Making that doll, it looks like it's turning out wonderful. That is actually my doll pattern that she is using. I'm so excited to see that she is doing that. Uh, let's see what else she's got going on. She says that the little green things hanging off, some of them are her Christmas whips, and the middle is her Hobby Lobby Crafter Secret yarn, which is beautiful, by the way. The top is another whip. And the kit she just bought from Hershner's plus her Dollar Tree Chanel yarn to make some more peep bunnies. I need to make some of those too. But oh my goodness, your cart is just gorgeous. Okay, now we have Explore with K and D. And guys, this is two young girls that actually have a crochet channel. So you may want to go check that out. Um, you can watch their videos and I think you can hit the like and stuff but you can't leave comments but anyway they have a wonderful channel they're happy they're just some um, fun crocheting girls okay so on the top they have a half double crochet blanket and on the middle shelf they have a ripped granny stripe cardigan and on the bottom they have some new crochet animals and a cute Elmo doll I see the Elmo down there uh, then on the floor, they have two tank tops. And then on that second picture of those little earrings, it uh, those are made by Dee. And yes, Dee, you did a wonderful job on those. Those are adorable. So yeah, guys, go check out their channel. Okay, so now we have Mary's cart. And I do believe these carts are getting larger. That's a pretty big cart you got there, Mary. Um I see the two dolls on the top, and I love the Mickey Mouse outfit, and um, the blue is actually my doll clothes pattern. I recognize that. So, um, yours looks great, Mary. So, let's see what Mary's got going on on hers. She says on her top shelf, she keeps her hooks and her scissors in her Serenity Prayer coffee cup on top, along with a basket that she made for needles and miscellaneous items. Her patterns are in the black file box, and she's currently working on finishing touches for the Valentine outfit in navy and lapis yarn by Red Heart. Making a romper outfit into a costume and going to add white gloves and long sleeves. Oh, that's going to be cool. The middle shelf is Easter dress in Red Heart, lapis, need to make shoes and hat. Started the hood for teddy bear sleeper and making another blue princess outfit. Oh, that's cool. The bottom shelf, sewing and doll hair supplies. Um... And she says she loves her cart, and she can wheel it into the living room next to her recliner to work on and back into the bedroom out of sight. And yes, that is me. That is me as well. Okay, so here we have my sister Tanya's cart. Hey, Tanya. Um, she says that her whip projects are two corner-to-corner -corner afghans. On the left side is for her son in his favorite colors, 
orange, black, and purple. And on the right side is for our nephew with colors to match the scheme in his new home, which is black, gray, and tan. And the bottom shelf is a Halloween afghan that is yet to be sewn together. And she says, someday, LOL. I'm there with you, girl. Okay, so now we have Roxana's cart. And I love the bunny on top. It is so pretty. It's the first thing I noticed whenever I saw this picture. Uh, let's see. She's made three Easter bunnies by Sorella. Two are in the process of being shipped to grandchildren. Uh, she finished a spring summer poncho by Crystal Bag of Day for her granddaughter. And on the bottom are her squares from the crochet along with Crystal from Bag of Day. And yes, everything is beautiful, Roxana. Okay, so now we have Patsy's cart. And Patsy says that... Um, her purple pocket shawl still needs pockets sewn on it. Uh, the green yarn is going to be a spring wrap and is a fun pattern of a V-stitch and a puff stitch. That does sound fun, Patsy. On the bottom shelf is a neck scarf. Um, she says she doesn't care for the buttons that are on it and she needs to figure something else out for that. Okay, so here we have Linda's cart. And uh, Linda's already got this filled up. She said that she just got her craft cart, and she said it makes her very happy. And Linda, it makes us happy too. You got some beautiful projects in there. Um, the little, I guess that's probably going to be a bunny. I see some uh, squares, some circles there. I see some yarns on the second and third. Yeah, it looks like you've already filled this up, and you are crocheting away. Okay, wasn't that just wonderful? Um, thank you guys so much for that. Um, I just love it. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's on my whip caddy this week. Um, I did finish the baby blanket this week and I, I showed that in a video already. And I, I think it was in the Monday crochet chat video. I did finish my tutorial on the spring summer top. That one is out and, um, that went out yesterday. And when I talked about the video, that went out yesterday as well. So I've got that done. Um, so let's look and see what I'm working on now. I've had quite a few of you guys ask me about this, these mice that I have up here. They, um, I'll leave the link below and I'll put it across my screen because as I'm filming this, I can't remember exactly where I got it, but I will um, show you the website. And uh, it's a free crochet pattern. And the girl mouse, see, she's got a crochet hook, and she's crocheting. These hooks right here, those are from Ryan, from the Yarn Hag Ryan. She sent those to me. Thank you so much for that, Ryan. And um, I used one of them as a crochet hook for my little mouse here. But yeah, um, let's go look on the computer, and um, I'll show you the mice where they're at. Okay, so this is where I found the free pattern for the mouse. And uh, it's yarnhealed.com. This is Lisa the Mouse right here. Right here on me. But there she is crocheting right there. But yeah, that's where you go to get that. I was going to see if it shows the where to get the guy. Let's see. Here we go. And there they are together. Okay, so yeah, so go to yarnhealed.com and I will leave the link below. And I wanted to add that this little basket back here, that is made from Nona Grace. She has a YouTube channel and uh, her and her husband, Jim, they're some of my favorite people to watch. And um, yeah, she made this with um, plastic, like your plastic Walmart bags, Dollar General bags and Kroger bags and all that stuff. And that's what she made this with. And she actually has a little tutorial type thing of how to uh, put the plastics together and stuff and I actually tried it and I liked it it was really easy so um, but yeah that was made from her and she sent that to me so I proudly keep that displayed in my yarn room thank you so much for that Nona Grace and Jim you just keep that chatter going we love to hear you chattering with Nona Grace okay so this is the little bunny that I made I think this looks like one. <laughs> this, my other one uh, that I made a few months ago just didn't turn out looking like a bunny. But here's this one. Just finished him. Now, the top, I don't know what I was doing, what part of the pattern. I thought I was 
going to make like a little pair of overalls jumper type thing and um it ended up looking like a shirt and it's supposed to have a collar on it and some sleeves but um i may end up putting some sleeve little short sleeves on it because it does look a little off to me but uh as of right now that's what i've got i went ahead and made a little bow tie for it as well and there is going to be a hat okay so um he was really easy, but um, you probably do need to understand a little bit about Amagurumi before you tackle him. Um, so, okay, let me show you the book. It's called My Crochet Animals. And here's the back side. Okay, this hat right there, that is what I'm fixing to make to go on the bunny. And see how that looks. Um, I thought maybe I would make the hat yellow. What do you guys think? And maybe a um, little part that curls up. Maybe put that in blue and have a blue pom-pom. Maybe something like that. Isabel Kessigen. Crochet 12 furry animal friends plus 35 stylish clothes and accessories. It has really pretty pictures. Look at this, guys. I really like that little baby one, and it, it has it sitting in a carrot. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so that's one of the things that I'm working on. Okay, the other thing is, you know, I'm working on the Anna Green Gables. Um, this is Wednesday. Yeah, I'll be able to work on her today. So, um, I'm excited about her, and I've been talking about her for a week, so I'm going to move off of her. Oh, yeah, this basket right here is was made by my sister, Tanya. She made that for me. Wasn't that so sweet? Here I am, the basket queen, and she makes me a basket. So, that really means a lot to me because of all my baskets sitting up there, I'll have that one that will stand out from the rest that I know was made with love for me. So thank you so much for that, Tanya. Okay, uh, the other thing that I'm working on is out of this dress up Amagurumi, I am working on this little guy right here. I did get all the way up to pretty close to most of the body done and then realized it was just way too big. So let me show you this. Okay, so the hook that I'm using is a 2.5 and a medium full weight yarn so that's basically the body here is going to be the outfit that i'm putting on her so yeah it's, it's a little disappointing that i had to frog her and start over but um i think it'll be worth it okay this is the basket i'm working out of and this is what i have so far um it recommends cutting a piece of board for the feet and uh, putting it inside, so that's what I did. So there's one of the little legs. Using a 4.0, I think. And this foot was coming out really big. So, um, but yeah, that's all I've got done for the moment. There's my row counter. The basket that I made to match the colors from the Seen It Beauty calendar that the Yarny Fiber Sisters are hosting. If you're not involved in that yet, go ahead and check that out. The Yarny Fiber Sisters, that's uh, Butterfly Dreams and um steals the show crochet and chef and more so go check out those two channels um they have um it's just a calendar and every month you can make something to match the colors in the calendar and so my sister tanya she actually made one of these these were her colors and i liked it so much that i made me one <laughs> so yeah anyway so i'm so excited to give this to her um but yeah, there's all these animals, and there's so many clothes. Oh, there's a video tutorial for all crochet stitches. How cool. Okay, it just has some more of them on the back. Becca is the one I'm working on. That little bear is adorable, too. Oh, and of course, you know, the elephant. 
Every time I see elephants like that, I always think of Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet. She loves elephants. I'm telling you guys, this book has some cool stuff. Look at that. I don't even know if I realized this was in here. I'm sure I showed this to you guys already, but... Oh, yeah, it's adorable. I might have to make one of those just for my yarn room here and then change its outfit according to the season. It's not a bad idea. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on since you guys have seen this book already. So guys, one of the things that I don't have on here, and that is my Motley Throw um, in my Annie's Blanket. I will show those in another video for you guys and update you guys on that. But the things that are pressing on me at the moment is getting my 18 inch doll outfit done and getting um, the little deer for my friend and finishing up this little bunny rabbit. So those really are the three things that like are basically in my on my hook right now at the moment oh, yeah i do have a sale going on 30 percent off of my three flash drives that i have and the flash drives um one is like 150 patterns one's 160 patterns and i think one's 120 patterns and some of them are even more because when i wrote that that was like six months ago and i've had tons of more patterns since then so um when you buy a flash drive you get all the pa patterns that i have for sale on my Etsy shop that are for sale at that time that you purchased the pat the flash drive. So that I think that's a pretty good deal, especially 30% off. Hey guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. Cannot be lost. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. Isaiah 44. Mighty one, I have placed all my bets on you. I have sunk all my savings into knowing you. Don't let me down now. I am continually laying down my life before you as I seek to follow your ways. I know the road won't be straight and smooth. It certainly hasn't been up until now. But I also know that your love sustains me in ways I never imagined it could. Level the rough places and make the jagged pass into open spaces. Just when it seems like the storm is too much to bear, Speak peace and shine your light, bringing out all that was hidden. I will not give up, no matter what may come, when I am linked to you. You will keep me when the way is winding, never letting me be lost. In your time, God, lead me out in peace. Wherever I am, let me be found in you. Do you believe God is with you in your life right now? Yes, I sure do. Okay, well guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.